Yeah, on this day that we are celebrating women, we must include ourselves here at King 5. It's because of a pioneer, a woman who brought the first TV station to the West Coast right here. That's right. The first yeah. TV station west of the Mississippi, north of San Francisco, 70 years ago, really like that you know, very sexy 70 anniversary <laughs> yoga yeah. logo. And uh, Dorothy Bullitt was um, not made to become the, the owner of a television station. She didn't go to college. She was 40, a widow, a mother of three, and she had, couldn't even type. She didn't go to college. Wow. But yet, she had the vision and the energy to say, hey, this television thing is really cool. So she mm -hmm. was kind of like an early nerd in, <laughs> and did this startup thing called television. Isn't wow. that something? And yeah. what was it that was important to her? I hear it was, she it was, was about community. all about community service and civic engagement. So it, it is a story of um, innovation. She had to think of things to put on this television station. So she wanted people to be informed. Mm -hmm. She wanted people to be entertained, yes. She wanted people to be educated. So some of the first programs she did were kids shows. Wanda Wanda and mm -hmm. Stan Borison. Just making sure that kids could get educated. And if you look at these Wanda Wanda, it's like way before, you know, Mr. Rogers in Neighborhood. She was using puppets and music to teach kids about how to behave and how to appreciate one another. Wow, I have to tell you, I just, yeah. this is, you know, unscripted moment for sure. You know, I just joined King less than a year ago, you know, full time, mm -hmm. and I'm just now hearing more about her. I mean, a woman owning and running a TV station 70 years ago, I yeah. can't imagine she, there was a bunch of people who looked like her at that time. Right. She was the first the female first. owner of a television station. And she hired Jean Anderson, mm -hmm. who was the first female evening anchor person right. on any television newscast. So there was a lot of firsts for women yeah. at King. But the thing that you're going to find is that it was always innovation, innovation, because yeah. no one had ever done this stuff before. So they were always thinking of what kind of programming to put on, what kind of news to put on, you know, what is news? And it became... It became a very driven kind of a thing for King. Yeah, Dorothy Bullitt is probably a new name to a lot of people watching, but uh, as you mentioned, she was someone who had a great deal of money, but didn't really seem to take this as, as a profit game. She really invested in the people that worked at King 5 and therefore in the community as well. And they had at certain times dozens of local productions going on right. at once. Now you're lucky to find one or two or three, but she really invested in the station to invest in the community, right? I mean, there was a time in the 60s when her son, Stim Bullet, who was running, who was running the show, was, was losing money on news right. and things like that. But he said, that's okay. We are making enough money where we can continue to invest in programming, educating and informing the community. And there was a heyday when I first came here to mm -hmm. King in the early 80s, where if you wanted to go to Asia or if you wanted to go to mm -hmm. Europe and the story, you know, warranted it, they sent you. They just and sent so you been off. all over the world because of this. Special. Well, we've been to so many places. It's just amazing. But it's because the viewers of King have wide interests. Mm. They are interested in what goes on in China. There we are at the Great Wall of China. They're interested wow. in what goes on in Japan, in Iraq, at the Olympics. You know, they deserve to have coverage from their areas of That's interest. Right. So this is the kickoff to our 70th anniversary celebration. We have a piece airing tonight. This, right, at 7 o'clock. Okay, and this one focuses on the women of King. That's right, Mrs. Bullitt and Jean specifically, but it also takes us back to the very beginnings when they were actually uh, working out of a garage on Queen Anne before they moved to the furniture store on Dexter Avenue. Wow, so much to be proud There's of. There's a ton of history. Yeah. In fact, I was texting with my dad because he used to work here alongside right. you, and he said that the first thing he produced working at King 5 was then the 35th anniversary special. And here we are at the 70th. 70th. And you're wow. here. That we, that's crazy. Yeah, so here's the deal. Cool. Text the word KING for more on our 70 years of history. As you can see, it is rich and something mm -hmm. to be proud of and really a source of inspiration. So text the word KING to 206-448-4545. Yeah, 70 years. 70 Lori. years, and, and the first story um, of our 70th celebration tonight at 7. At 7 o'clock here on KING 5. All right, our producer's pick Thanks, is Lori. coming up next here on Take 5, so don't go 